during this training session, I want to detail proper elbow positioning in the bench press. I uh, received a question on YouTube that said, could you guys make a video on how to tuck and flare your elbows properly? And so I think it's, uh, I think it's a valid question because elbow positioning is something that uh, is important during a bench press. But I think that uh, there's generally an overemphasis on what the elbows are supposed to do. And really for me, I'm only thinking about one specific cue uh, when it comes to elbow positioning. I'll tell you what that is in a second. Um, elbow positioning will vary depending on a number of factors. And so the first is elbow positioning is going to vary um, depending on what federation that you lift in. Uh, the goal is that uh, you want to work within the rules of your federation and leverage the technique that is allowed. However, if the movement standards change based on which federation you compete in, so does how you choose to leverage the technique that's allowed. So, uh, for the purposes of this video, I will explain elbow positioning based on the movement standards of an IPF standard bench press. Elbow positioning is also going to uh, differ based on whether you're lifting classic uh, or equipped. So with the use of a supportive bench shirt. So because I'm in this video I am benching raw classic, uh, I'll explain the elbow positioning in a classic bench press and maybe in a future video uh, I'll explain the differences of elbow positioning uh, in, a, in a equipped bench press. Now, uh, elbow positioning is also going to vary depending on how long your arms are because how long your arms are are going to affect your grip width. And grip width uh, certainly affects uh, where your elbows are positioned as you're bringing the bar down to your chest. So I can only talk in general terms um, because without knowing uh, the grip of a person, uh, I can't really uh, get into too much detail on uh, elbow position, but I will talk very broadly about one specific technique that I use and I think will help a lot of people. So elbow positioning for me is something that I set up while I'm setting up the bench press. I'm not thinking about elbow positioning when I'm performing repetitions. And so I try to get my elbows in a position uh, when I'm setting up that allows me to just maintain that technique throughout the range of motion and so after I set up the uh, proper elbow positioning in my start position I don't think about it anymore and so what I do and you can see that in this video I'm going to take the bar off the bench off the rack I'm going to bring the bar over my chest and right as uh, right before I bring the bar down to my chest I actually do a one quarter turn inward uh, with my elbows now it's a subtle turn inwards so the key is subtle because what a lot of people try to do is really crank their elbows in uh, in their start position and it'll, it'll force this uh, unnatural rotation and you might start to get you know elbow pain if you're going in that uh, unnatural groove so right in my start position while the bar is still over my chest before I even begin to move the bar down to my chest I do a slight inward rotation, about one quarter uh, rotation with my elbows inward. And what that allows me to do is, uh, as I'm bringing the bar down to my chest, my elbows are naturally uh, tucked in at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm not thinking tucking any more uh, than uh, what that one quarter turn does uh, in the beginning of the movement. Um, and as I'm performing the repetitions, uh, I'm just maintaining that groove. I'm maintaining my elbows uh, in that position and I don't have to think about it anymore. Um, I think there's other cues that you should be thinking about when you're bringing the bar down to your chest. I don't think elbows should be one of them. Uh, the brain can't think of too many things at once. Um, it only has resources to think about one, maybe two uh, things as you're doing a, a pretty complex lift like this. So uh, I think that you can focus your attention elsewhere. And so by setting up the elbow positioning uh, during the setup, uh, it just frees up space so that you can think about other things and you don't have to really worry about the elbows. 
So doing that one quarter inward rotation with the elbows while the bar is over your chest is going to just help um, keep your elbows in a proper groove and maintain that while you perform repetitions. Now what about flaring your elbows? I don't think that uh, in a classic bench press you should flare your elbows which means bring your elbows away from your body so that your elbows are in line with your shoulder uh, at all uh, because uh, two reasons. The first is that in a bench press you want to maximize uh, the engagement with your lats and I think by bringing your elbows away from your body you limit that en engagement and you're, you start to loosen in your back um, and the best bench presses in the world have figured out how to use your back especially pushing through the uh, mid-range so uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is that as you bring your elbow in line with your shoulder and there's a 90 degree bend in your arm it puts a lot of undue stress in your shoulder joint, um, something that uh, can be pretty um, dangerous if you're lifting heavy loads. So uh, try that. Try the one quarter inward rotation with your elbows and then don't think about it anymore. It should just maintain that uh, natural um, tuck of the elbows at a 45 degrees and uh, it should allow you to keep using your back and focusing on other, other, other things. There you have it, proper elbow positioning.